The Chang'e 6 probe, Chang'e 6, with the goal of collecting samples on the dark side of the moon, then returning to Earth, shows China's ambitions. On the evening of May 3, Vietnam time, China successfully launched the Long March 5 rocket at the Wenchang Space Launch Site, Hainan Province. This is part of a mission called Chang'e 6, with the goal of collecting samples from the dark side of the moon, then returning to Earth. If Chang'e 6 is successful, China will surpass both Russia and the United States to set a new milestone in the history of space exploration. Why is the dark half of the moon? As is known, the moon is tidally locked with the Earth, so it completes one rotation in the same amount of time it takes to orbit our planet. For this reason, observers on Earth only see one side of the moon, called the near half. In addition to being more familiar than the far, or dark, half, the near half of the moon is also easier to explore, because observation stations from Earth and the International Space Station can easily monitor developments. On this half. This explains why every lunar mission since Chang'e 4, including NASA's Apollo missions of the late 1960s and early 1970s, has targeted this region. However, in recent years, special attention has been paid to the dark side, or more specifically the lunar south pole, mainly because scientists believe that this area contains a lot of water in the form of liquid ice. As we know, only high mountain peaks are illuminated by the sun at the moon's south pole due to the influence of its tilt and orbit. This produces many lower, sunken areas that are permanently shrouded in darkness and are literally called shadowed regions, PSRs. According to data measured on the Moon, the temperature at PSR can drop as low as minus 250 degrees Celsius, which is colder than some planets like Pluto. The low temperatures make this an ideal place to maintain ice, as any water molecules that enter immediately freeze. That process leads to the development of pockets of water at the moon's south pole, just waiting to be explored. According to estimates by the Planetary Society, the two lunar poles contain more than 600 million tons of water ice. This amount of water is enough to fill about 240,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools. Complex, high-risk tasks Although the dark side of the moon is an attractive destination, it cannot be denied that missions to this area carry certain challenges. The first step is to establish the landing position. Because the penumbra cannot be seen from Earth, we simply cannot know where the spacecraft will land. Additionally, relaying messages to and from mission control in dark areas is also a significant challenge. Not only that, the ship landing on the South Pole must be able to withstand extremely harsh temperatures as well as a plan to supplement energy due to lack of sunlight due to the characteristics of this area. This will make an already complicated lunar mission even more complicated, because random variables can happen at any time. The Chang'e 6 mission includes four main components, including, the orbiter, the lander, the booster rocket originating from the moon and the module to bring samples back to Earth. If all goes according to plan, the lander, carrying scientific equipment, will touch down inside the 2,500 km wide Apollo crater at the moon's south pole. The ship will collect an estimated 2 kg of soil and rock. Some of them will be drilled from a depth of up to 2 meters underground. These samples were then placed inside a capsule, which was then launched off the lunar surface, before being collected by the orbiter. If all steps go according to plan, the orbiter will return to Earth after a journey lasting 53 days from launch. China and its ambition to defeat Russia and America. Although China has never successfully sent people to the moon, it still knows how to create its own mark in the history of space exploration. In 2018, the Chang'e 4 probe successfully landed on the dark side of the moon, making China the first country in history to conduct a landing on this mysterious dark side. Although both the US and the former Soviet Union have attempted to conquer the moon many times, up to now, both powers have been one step slower than China in exploring the dark side. On August 10, 2023, Russia made the first visit to the moon since 1976 with the Luna 25 mission, with the dark side chosen as the destination. Russia clearly stated its goal, that landing at the south pole of the moon is the only way to prove scientific hypotheses about water that can exist here in the form of liquid ice. However, an unfortunate accident happened to the Luna 25 spacecraft when it crashed into the moon during landing, 
causing the entire mission to fail. While the U.S. was still busy with missions to send people to the moon, and Russia had not yet recovered from its failure with Luna 25, China once again quickly stepped in and deployed the Chang'e 6 mission. This move is like a strong affirmation that this country of billions of people is ready to surpass both the U.S. and China in the new race, aimed at by all humanity. According to the China National Space Administration, CNSA, Chang'e 6 is part of an ambitious plan, with a crew landing on Earth's neighbor by 2030. The U.S. is also promoting a similar mission, named Artemis, and is considered China's number one counterweight in this landing campaign.